Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky and so now I'm gonna film, if you haven't seen the video before, a vintage home haul. I've just bought tons of stuff this week from the car boots and charity shops and I haven't even spent that much and I can't wait to put them all in my house. I'm gonna put them all boxed up, wrap them all up and pop them in the shed at the moment because we are decorating still. I just wanna get everywhere done and then bear with me, there's a fly that's just flew in and I'm about to spud gun it because it's driving me crazy. I'm not really, I'm not that good, but I'm gonna get it. See you in a sec. So hi, welcome back. <sighs> managed to get it out, open the door, it's gone. Oh, oh that was just on my face. <sighs> what a day, right, let's do this. So I have managed to hardly spend anything but pick up an absolute ton of things. Also guys, get yourself a little drink or something because there is quite a bit. Got a cheeky chocomel. Does anyone else love chocomel? I love chocomel. So, mm -mm -mm. got a tree of chocolate. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that on camera. So, let's start with what I paid the least for. This. So this was ten pence. I just think it's gorgeous. It's Weatherby Hanley Royal Falcon Wear. And for ten pence each, it hasn't got all the gold stuff still around the edge. Not it, but just losing the gold stuff. This is the stamp on the back, so you probably would pay a lot more than ten pence for that online. And I picked this up as well in the same box. This is Elizabethan ware, and I've got a few of these cups and saucers. They're very random, but they look really sweet together. And I picked up them too because they're kind of matching colours, and they look quite nice. So yeah, I like them. 10 pence each, couldn't go wrong. So my next piece, I'm gonna to have to take this off because I really don't wanna rip them or catch them. So these actually were 50 pence for the pair. I don't know if you can see them, but the most delicate, vintage. Let me see if I can, that, that's just gonna look like it's got 10 fingers. <laughs> delicate, vintage. I'll put a picture on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's Becky's underscore second underscore hand underscore life underscore. Only because everything to do with my name was like taken up and yeah, I got on the bandwagon too late. So yeah, I don't actually think, oh my goodness. <laughs> my dogs always bark when as soon as I press record. Right, no, these, they do fit. They actually do fit oh my goodness they are just okay so they are literally amazing <sighs> when i saw these i did double check just to make sure they were old and not like a new cheap international or next like pair and yeah so these are very delicate 50 pence for the pair can't go wrong love them does anyone else like I have a ton of vintage clothes, so I collect vintage clothes. That's probably one of the other million things that I collect. And I keep them all in one of my wardrobes. I keep them all bagged though, so they don't stink or, you know, pick up smells. Because after a while, all the items tend to. Let me put this back on before I lose it. Actually, speaking of rings, I also paid, I highly doubt you're going to be able to see these. But they are the sweetest rings ever. So, 50 pence for the this. It's a set. So you get the squirrel, the main squirrel. Let's see if I can get it to focus. If I get you right there, yay. So the main squirrel, which is delightful. And then you get its body. And then what it is chasing. I feel like on. So that was also 50 pence as well for that little set. I'll also maybe do a picture. Let me see if I can pop them on. Cute. Oh, so sweet. Love them. Okay. I don't want to linger because I have pretty much got a lot of stuff. Not that I'm complaining. So, let me move these. These beautiful plates. I paid £4.350 for the three from a charity shop by my house. Okay, I'm going to have to show you the detail up close. Like, how gorgeous are they? I think they're so sweet. Love the little chicken on the top. 
little rabbit on the side there you can see but gorgeous so these are made by international table wax england heartland international china company so they're not that old because it says dishwasher safe so probably not vintage because did they have dishwashers in the 70s mm, i'm not sure i'm gonna have to google that because i'm not that old okay so i've got three of these I'm just doing it the most awkward way you possibly could, I think. So three of those all together. Gorgeous edges. And if I was to buy these offline, I would say I would pay about £20 upwards for them because they are really good condition. They're definitely pottery, I think. Stoneware Japan. Yeah, beautiful. Just love them. And I don't mind paying a bit of money for decent stuff. Do you know, like, if you... You know it's gonna last or you love it and it's worth it buy it like if it's sustainable buy it because it will last it saves going out and buying tons of the cheap stuff and you're just gonna have to throw it away get rid like plastic straws prime example did anyone know you can buy a metal straw off ebay for 99p pops up it's about this big and it pops up and you can put them in your handbag and take them anywhere they're amazing they literally are amazing i love mine and so, I probably should have put this in the vintage clothes haul as well. But I just couldn't resist showing you. This is a pair of original Bracken Tan Nylon Tights. I just think like, wow. <laughs> like literally my doggies today. I'm not going to open them because I just love them, but they should have gone first. I paid 20p for this as well. And it was just the packaging that took me. So I might even put that packaging in a frame. I love doing stuff like that. At the moment, I'm looking for something. We're going to be painting this back wall soon. But I'm thinking of maybe getting this spray painted. One of my friends from childhood is an absolutely amazing spray painter. So I'm thinking I'm going to get him to have a little look at it and maybe get thinking a huge octopus or a huge like lion head mane something like that'll catch your eye when you walk through the door so yeah but this is really sweet definitely gonna frame that okay guys i just need a little sip mm -hmm. next piece Want it. Bon Jovi, I love Bon Jovi, so when I saw this for 50p, was not going to leave it, I've got a record player which my brother bought me a few years ago, <sighs> shot through the heart, you can't go wrong at all, so yeah, it's got all the classics on, so my next item is, these two, I've never really picked up bells before but I couldn't have left them, so these were 150 for the pair and what drew me to them was the actual, let me get that in focus for you guys, um, was the pictures on them. So this is called the Discovery. They're by Norman Rockwell and they are limited edition bell series. And so I like, this is the one that drew my attention at first. So this is called Knuckles Down and it's just a load of cute like kids playing all game. But yeah, I love them. So 150 for the pair. Really sweet. I don't know if I could do something with them, maybe make something, because I love taking ceramics and making something a bit crazy with them. So we'll see. Okay, so this, I just love the shape of it. Has anyone seen the film, like, Signs? For some reason, it just reminds me of that. Like, that's what made me pick it up. Um, I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know even how to tell what it was made out of. It looks like wood, but it... that's definitely not wood. Oh, I don't know. She's solid though. She weighs an absolute ton. She's really cute. Paid a pound for her. Couldn't have left it. That was at the end of the day at a car boot sale. They didn't want to stay any longer, so they would just like take anything you want for 50 for a pound. So I did, and I did a lot. I got this as well off them. So my partner, my boyfriend, fiance, 
is an absolutely amazing baker. If anyone doesn't know, I will put some pictures on Instagram. He is such a good baker. That's probably why I ain't skinny. I'm now a bee skinny. And yeah, so this is from France. It is marble as well. It's so heavy. Beautiful bottom and top. That again, a pound. Love that. So my last two pieces before these I paid one fifth no two pounds each for no she wants two pounds each I got them for three pounds for the pair in the end so let me hold from the bottoms wood the tops are metal but what metal I do not actually know and they're just they are gorgeous if anyone can see but what I would like to know is how can I tell what type of metal that they are made out of? My partner works with metal. Actually, do you know what? I didn't even think of that to ask him. Okay, so they were 150 for the pair. They're 150 each, get it right. And I love them. If anyone could tell me any more about them, I'd be so grateful. I really would. I just think they're gorgeous. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I'm definitely not going to paint them. Someone told me the can't be paint them. They look nice. Definitely not. But yeah, so if anyone has any info on these beauties, please let me know. Ooh. Oh, that was so close. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and show you the gorgeous tea sets that I got. Guys, so these are one of, this is one of the tea sets I managed to pick up. I wanted to show you, just beautiful. So we have this gorgeous opaque tea set. I would say maybe 1950s, just because of the style that it is. It's absolutely lovely. No markings on the bottom. And then you get to the plates, all the tea little sauces. And they're just beautiful. As soon as I bought them, I said I was going to buy them. So I knew I did good. Um, cause she does not buy rubbish. They were £2 for the six pieces. Um, and yeah, I couldn't have really left them for that. So who loves them? Give me a big thumbs up if you do like them. Oh, yeah. Right, next piece. Um, last but not least, this stunning, I would say, I was going to say cup set. Do you think they're cups? Yeah, cups or desserts, really? I'm going to have a little look into it. Yes, again, gorgeous clear glass or opaque glass, cloudy cup of opaque glass. And just beautiful. I paid, what did I pay for these? Let me remember. £2 again. No, one fifty was for this. She wanted £2 and I said, would you take one fifty? Even though at £2 it was still an absolute bargain. Um, but the only reason I offered the 150 was because there was meant to be six and she was missing one of the cup, um, the tea sauces, the plates. So that's why I offered 150. But yeah, otherwise, beautiful. Yet again, I'd say around the 50s, 60s. Gorgeous. Hi, thanks for joining me on my little vintage haul. Um, pop back again tomorrow because I've got a ton of videos coming out this week so that you'll be glad to know. Um, check out my Instagram for lots of fab pictures. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment down below about what was your favourite item, maybe what you didn't like, or just leave me a bit of information. See you soon. Bye!